Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about date class methods. So till now we have discussed about the concepts of OOPS and we have also seen some sample programs on it. Now we are going to talk about some predefined classes and methods in it. One of the predefined class is the date class and we have also discussed about it when we were actually talking about some primitive data types. So a date class is used to represent a value that indicates a particular day and unlike date time values, date values contain no information about time. So we know that date time values have date as well as time but if we talk about date, date values only contain date and do not contain any information about the time. Date class provides various static and instance methods to manipulate date values. So with date class we have plenty of static and instance methods. Now static methods are those methods which are called directly by the class name for which we need not to create any instance of the class or any object of the class. But instance methods are those methods which are called with objects. So to call an instance method you need to create a date instance or an object of date class but to call any static method of date class you can directly call it with the name of the class itself. It is recommended to always create date values with a system static method. So we have discussed about that new instance method of the date class earlier as well. And it is always recommended to create a date value with help of that new instance method. So for example, the new instance method for date accepts year, month and day and create a date from integer representation of the year. So here 1 is used to represent January, 2 is used to represent February that is for month. Any integer value can be represented for year and same integer value can be represented for the day. And when we pass these three values to the new instance method, it will create an instance of the date class. Now let's talk about some static methods of date class. So days in month. Now this static method accepts two parameter that is year and month and returns the number of days in that specific month for the specified year. Is leap year? Is leap year accepts a certain year and returns true or false depending upon whether that year is a leap year or not. We have already talked about the new instance method which creates an instance of date class by passing year, month and day. There is a parse method which accepts a string and constructs a date from that string. Now the format of the string depends on the local date format. So it depends on the date format of your org. Today method returns the current date in the current user's time zone. Value of method accepts a string and returns a date that contains the value of the specified string. Now these were the static methods. Now we are going to talk about instance methods. So definitely to call them you need to have an instance of the date class. That means you need to have a date class object. The first instance method is add days and to which we pass integer value as number of days. Now this method adds the specified number of additional days to that date. Add months. It also accept integer but this time to represent number of months. And this actually add that many number of months to that specific date. Add years. Now this method accepts another integer this time to represent number of years and it adds that many number of years to that specific date. Day method returns the day of the month component of a date. Day of year returns the day of year component of a date. Days between now this method accepts another date as a parameter and returns the number of days between the two date. Now one of the date will be the date which is calling the method, the other date will be passed as parameter and it will return the number of days between those two dates. Format method returns the date as a string 
using the locale of the context user so the user who is actually running the program it depends on the locale of that specific user and returns the string format of the date now there are some more instance methods like is same day now this method also accepts a date as a parameter and returns true if the date that called the method is the same which is passed as parameter month method returns the month component of a date months between method accepts a date as parameter and it actually tells you the number of months between the two date the date who called the method and the date which is passed as parameter now this will only tell you the difference between the two months and will not consider the days in between to start of month returns the first of the month for the date that has called the method to start of week returns the start of the week for the date that has called the method now both of them depends on the context of the user's locale year method returns the year component of a date now these were all the methods that we are going to talk about today so it's time to see the things practically so guys here we are on our developer console and let's quickly create a class where we are calling some static date methods so guys here is our class where i have actually called those static date methods now first of all here i have created two integer variable as year 1 and year 2 and passed two years into it like 2011 and 2012 Now here in this system dot debug you can see I have called days in month which is a static method days in month and here I am passing year one and passing two as the month so this one the first parameter represents the year the second parameter represents the month and here I am passing year and month and this method will return the number of days in that specific month of that specific year. Now intentionally i have passed 2011 and 2012 because 2011 is not a leap year but 2012 is a leap year and in both the method i am passing february so for one of the system dot debug it's going to reprint 28 as days in february in second it will represent 29 as days in february then i have called is leap year method now is leap year method accepts a year and here i have passed 2011 in one of the call and 2012 in another call so definitely for 2011 it's going to return false but for 2012 it's going to return true here you can see i have called the new instance method now to this new instance method i have passed a year a month and day as parameters and it's going to create a date out of it now this date i am printing it over here now here i am calling the parse method and to this parse method i have passed the month date and year because my user locale accept this specific format so i have created a string with this specific format and passed this string to this parse method now this parse method will create a date from this string and will be assigned to this dt2 object of the date class which i am printing in the next line you can see i have called a today method also over here now this today method is going to return the current date which will be printed over here now to the value of method i am passing another string but to this value of method i have to pass it like this it accepts year month and date and then after it also accepts some time now this i am passing to this string and this string i am passing to this value of so this value of will create another date from it which i am printing over here so now let's run this program and see the output so here in the anonymous window i have passed the class name dot show method and i am clicking on this execute now this will open the log for me and i will click on this debug only and now you can see it is printing the days in month it is printing whether the year is leap year or not it is printing those dates and the point to note here is for all the dates the time is coming to be zero even when i am passing the some time to it 
it is not showing that time to me it is by default taking it as zero now this is how a date is printed in the log it will show the time part as well but the time part will always be zero now let's move on and create a new class where we are going to see some instance methods of the date class so guys here is our class you can see in the first line i simply created a date with help of a new instance method now definitely this one is a static method which we have already talked about in the previous program but here we are going to talk about only the instance method so the first instance method is here which is going to add 10 days to this sample date now this is the sample date which is which is 26th feb 1988 so it's going to add 10 days to it and then it will return a new date adding 10 days to the date represented by sample date and that will be assigned to this after 10 days variable similarly i called add months and add years method where i am passing 5 as parameter so this method will add 5 months to this and this method will add 5 years to this same date and will be assigned to these two variables now here you can see i have printed the date i have printed the format as well by calling the format method so this is another instance method which will return the string in a format represented by my user's context then i printed these three dates after 10 days after five months and after five years now here from line number 13 14 and 15 you can see i am calling day month and year on this sample date that i have created in line number three and this will return the day the month and the year part of the date which i am printing here in line number 16. so let's quickly run this program and see the output so now the class name in the anonymous window will be instance date methods and the method name will be show i will click on execute now you can see this is the date which i have created with the new instance this is the string format for the date now you can see after 10 days it has added those 10 days to this specific date and the new date is this one which is 7th of march when it is adding five months to it it will become 26th of july and when i'm adding five years to it it makes 26 feb 1993 the day month and year method is returning the day month and year part of the sample date so guys there are few more instance methods so let's create another class where we will see the remaining instance methods so guys here is the class now you can see i have created another date over here with the same value which i have used in the previous program i have also called the date dot today method this is a static method which returns the current date now here you can see i have called two start of month and two start of week these two methods on the birth date which is nothing but 26 feb 1988 now what these methods are going to do now this method to start of month will return a date which will be the first date of the specific month of the year represented by this so this is 26th feb 1988 so this will return first feb 1988 now this method to start of week will return the date of the first day of that week the week which is represented by 26th feb 1988 so whatsoever will be the first date of that week will be returned in this start of week now you can see i have called few more instance method over here like days between and i have passed birth date and current date over here so it's going to return me the number of days between the birth date and the current date this is going to return the months between the birth date and the current date so these will be nothing but days between the current date and birth date and months between the current date and birth date now day of year will represent the day of that specific year like uh, there are 31 days in january so for first of february it will return as 32nd day and the same method i have called on current date as well now here you can see is same day method is called on the current date definitely the birth date and current date won't be the same and hence this method will return false but in case if we call on two specific days which are representing the same date then this will return true now this start of month and start of week which we have calculated on line number five and six have been printed over here now let's quickly go and run this program 
So this time class name will be more instance state methods dot show and let's click on execute and guys you can see it is representing the days between current date and birth date which is 12,668. It is representing months between current date and birth date which is 417 months. It is representing day of year for birth date which is 57th day of the year. Day of year for current date which is 306th day of the year. Is birth date and current date same? So definitely they aren't. And you can see uh, the start of month of birth date is 1st Feb 1988 and start of week of birth date will be 21st Feb 1988. So guys that was all about different methods of date class that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care.